What's going on everybody? It's Justin the Light back for another episode of the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we arrived here in Vermilion City and I talked about basically nothing. On this episode, we're going to be doing the SSN. So, here we go. Oh, actually, first. Um, I made a couple changes. Um, as you can see, I got rid of Jingles and Ska. Uh, they are in the PC. I just felt like... They aren't going to be very useful um, right now. And I got Doo-Wop out of the PC, so we have Doo-Wop on our team now, which is super cool. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put... Ah, not Growl. I want to put Magnitude to the front so that I can actually use it instead of sitting there using Scratch. And I also, in between episodes, finally taught Dixieland Rock Tomb, so we finally have something to deal with flying-type Pokemon, which is a fantastic addition to our team. So, I'm going to go ahead and let's get running to the SSN of joy and happiness. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Yes, I got it from a guy that was a Pokemon, and it was really... It was just a strange afternoon. You don't even know, buddy. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop on the fancy ship of fanciness. And um, I know that there are some demonic spirits around here that may or may not be really powerful so it's important that we train up our other members i'm gonna go ahead and put doo-wop in the front um see what doo-wop can do in her first battle on the team i am but a solitary traveler i don't know why i paused that long my soul companions and friends are my pokemon i carry them on my journey is this guy batman this guy kind of sounds like batman i am the batman Gentleman Thomas. Oh, he's Thomas Wayne. Spoiler alert. Ha, ha. I knew he was the Batman in an alternate universe. All right, but anyways, enough about him being the Batman. Let's go ahead and give this thing a magnitude it won't soon forget. Boom, magnitude eight. Great start for Doo-Wop. I know it's kind of repetitive having both Doo-Wop and Dixieland on the team. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, what I was saying before that horrible roar happened and brought out my weak to fire pokemon i know it's a little the team's a little repetitive looking right now um especially with two ground types three poison types two grass types and then a random normal flying type um but yeah i mean i am okay with it for right now uh because i just kind of need everybody I just kind of need my best members, and honestly, these are the best that I got, so I'm kind of fine with the situation for right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too concerned, plus Doo-Wop's going to help in this gym, and um, Reggae will be able to help in the future, so I just feel more, I just feel better about having these Pokemon rather than having Ska, who will get destroyed because she doesn't get very good moves. So that would be very bad for me in the long run, just having a Pokemon on my team that isn't going to do anything. I'd rather have Pokemon that are going to do something productive towards the uh, cause, or whatever the heck I was saying. Alright, Dixieland's going to learn Body Slam. Fantastic. Which, I think we can just get rid of the inaccurate Mega Punch for the 85 base power Body Slam, which is just better in every way, shape, or form. Perfect. All right, defeated Thomas Wayne. My, my friends. Yeah, they were all Growliths, dude. Every single one was a Growlithe. But anyways, let's go ahead. I think the second cabin's the cabin where we heal. Do you heal my Pokemon? You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? I would because I would like to do that. I Also, what I forgot to do before even entering the ship... By SSN, I'm going to actually leave for a moment because I remembered I wanted to do something. Um, I'm actually going to go over to Route 11 and get my encounter, so I think that would be a good time. I looked at the encounters yesterday after I got done recording. I, I don't want to fight anybody. I know nope, I don't want to fight anybody. <laughs> and I got a Santru. Awkward. I didn't realize that I didn't have one of these already. Um, 
Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to Pokemon and switch out uh, for Bluegrass. I thought I was destined to get a Drowsy, but I forgot I didn't have Sandshrew yet. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Oh well, I mean, another ground type. I only have three of them already. Not, not too big of a deal, but... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know why. It must have been because I I used one in that heart gold um, Nuzlocke I did with my friend a while back. And I don't know. I guess I just got confused. Would make sense. I mean, I have a tendency to be a space case as we have, uh, as we have discussed between you and me. But, or you and me i mean you could be watching with more than one person i don't i don't know your life i don't claim to know your life i barely know my life let alone yours but anyways enough about our complex relationship um yeah let's go ahead and capture this sandrew in a completely unorthodox fashion all right so let's read this thing's pokedex entry burrows deep underground in our our rig I can't read, okay? And it only emerges to hunt his brain. Yeah, I can't read. Judge me. Alright, I'm gonna give a nickname to this Sandshrew, and I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Oh my goodness. I had the hardest time thinking of this a name for this guy. And right when I found one, it was one letter too long. I was gonna name him Underground for like underground rap but as you can see on the screen i've just gone with march as in like a marching band or that kind of deal so okay awesome we have march not exactly what i wanted but oh well i mean you get what you get and you don't throw a fit so uh let's go ahead and check out march our santru see what he is all about he's hardy and he has sand veil nice and unfortunately the sandshrew line isn't the best um they don't learn ground type moves naturally so i'm probably not gonna use him um in the foreseeable future unless something horrible and absolutely tragic happens and if it does i will probably be dead at that moment so i'm just gonna go ahead and put him in here for right now and i will it'll be fine so um i actually was thinking about in between episodes going and training up my pokemon in between in diglett's cave and then i was all like i don't have that route 11 counter i i would want to get that before i go train and then i was all like "Ooh, no actually that's a terrible idea there's that uh level 29 terror and if you don't know what the level 29 terror is there is a level 29 doug trio in diglett's cave and i don't want to fight that that's probably not a good idea. Speaking of not good ideas, let's fight more people! Hooray! You insolent pup! How dare you barge in! I am not a dog. I am a human being. Arthur? Yeah, why don't you go hang out with Buster, you loser? <laughs> wow. That might be one of the worst insults I've ever had towards a not an NPC <laughs> on oh, this Let's Play. Oh, okay. If you hear me make... Okay, that's going to be weird. If you hear me, um, like, mm, groaning or... Mm, okay, that's... No. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's weird. I'm... Okay, let's just... I'm... I... Wow, this, I'm being... A, I'm being weird again. I have... I slept on my neck wrong, so there's, like, something, like, weird going on with my neck. So, like, if I, like, am laughing or, like, moving too much, it starts to hurt. And, of course, it does, because last episode I complained about my neck. Or, I complained... I didn't complain about my neck last episode. Last episode I complained about my throat. And this episode, I'm gonna complain about my neck. So that is just fantastic, because why wouldn't I complain about another part of myself hurting? That would just be unorthodox, and irregular for me if I didn't spend an entire episode of your time complaining about something that is completely irrelevant to you, the player, or you, the viewer. I'm the player. I don't know why I called you guys the player, but I mean, you could be playing along with me. I don't know. 
you guys do some strange stuff sometimes but anyways let's get out of here and i'm gonna go heal again because why not i mean there's a free heal literally next door why wouldn't i take advantage of it that would just that would just be stupid like that would be that's stupid play and then you would be yelling at your screen going why didn't you take the advantage of the free heal sorry i stopped to read that for two seconds while i was in the middle of complaining they serve cherry pie on this ship and they did not give me any so is that a trainer too i'm gonna battle this guy he's not a trainer that's awkward all right let's are you a trainer do you want to battle me i always try to travel with wiggly T is this a real wiggly tough oh it is can i borrow it so i can use it in my nuzlocke because it would be really good and i didn't get the chance to catch a jigglypuff okay yep these people want to battle i can tell all right so i think i'm fine having doop up front i collect these pokemon from all around the world so you're gonna use pokemon from like johto or hoenn or Sinnoh or unova or kalos or alola at this point interesting you can literally catch these things in route one and i just realized that the pokemon i have out for this job is terrible so i'm gonna go ahead and use dixieland as per usual <laughs> when i need someone to bail me out i call dixieland that's what it's all about ha 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 i'm sorry you had to listen to that i'm sorry you had to listen to me speak half the time but that's okay you're obviously here for a reason i don't know what reason that is but you're here listening to me for some reason so thanks uh shameless plug time since i'm talking about myself go ahead and subscribe if you if you like what you have uh, seen up to this point if you don't i understand why because this episode has once again been very spazzy and very non linear let's go with that but if you do like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button underneath the video um, also, if you want to hear more worthless babblings about me, go ahead and hit that Twitter link. Actually, it doesn't actually take you with anywhere. Uh, just go ahead and type that into your search, and, uh, some weirdo should pop up. Go ahead and hit the follow button if you want to hear some more random thoughts that go through my head. So that would be great if you could do either one of those, and, or, I don't know, comment on the video if you want to talk to me about something, or... I don't know what you guys do. I don't pay attention to things. I just do this because it's fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, we got Brick Break. I know. I think you can buy Brick Break later on. Yeah, you can and sell it on. So that's not. I could use that right now because Double Kick's hitting. How much does Double Kick hit for? Thirty each time, I believe. Thirty. Yeah. So, literally, I'm using one attack. It's guaranteed to hit. I just, that's just, that's just unarguable. I'm gonna give this to Dixieland, 100%. And we're gonna forget Double Kick for Brick Break. Because Dixieland is the machine right now. And it's just gonna guide us through this Nuzlocke on a glorious path. Is Dixieland my only female Pokemon right now? No, I have Doop, duh. Stupid me. All right, let's go ahead and battle this kid. See what he's all about. I love Pokemon. Do you? Obviously. I mean, I hope I do. If I'm putting this much commitment into this game, youngster Tyler, I hope I have some sort of cares about this game. Even though I'm battling Pokemon that are five levels higher in a Nuzlocke like a scrub. But that's okay, because I can be kind of scrubby sometimes. This should... What?! Okay, I'm going to outspeed it, because Diglett's speed stat is extremely high, and the magnitude 10, doo-wop, coming in clutch. And I was just talking about how I was battling things over level 5 like a scrub. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 I'm a scrub. Way to go. Wow, you're great. Yeah, but I didn't expect you to have a level 21, which kind of terrifies me. So I'm probably just going to go back to switch training rather than actually fighting you and of course gonna go use my free heal because if you don't do this 
what are you doing with your life because you're playing this game wrong and your life would be an absolute mess um, but I think we're gonna do a couple more battles on this floor maybe we'll battle Steven we're cruising around the ship we're cruising around the world we're cruising around the ship we're cruising around the world my children and I your children your children are very non-competitive at Pokemon battling I just thought I'd tell you that um, but anyways shh, I'm a global police agent I'm on the trail of Team Rocket they're up to no good are you looker in the past before looker existed what? oh gosh that sounded terrible what? yeah my throat still hurts too I'm not recording this too far after the last episode but anyways let's check out the kitchen nope French that's where I check out French I'm, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try that you guys don't want to hear that if you want to he hear me speak French leave a comment below and I'll make a separate video about me saying all these lines no I actually won't because why on God's green earth would I do that I do not want you to hear me speak French that I don't even know how to pronounce my brother speaks French he could he could do it I just can't I don't I don't want to speak French and I don't think I want to paint the world with French I'm really glad you guys threw away these berries so then I can steal them from you all right SSN this is the room yeah this is the room with the police agent guy I think I think that I don't want to go upstairs quite yet because that's uh that's where our good buddy Steve is and you know me I want to avoid Steve at all costs there's a hyper potion in the garbage can you people throw away the best stuff man I like stuff and I got a super potion you people are scrubs I'm taking you I'm taking you to the cleaners I want all your stuff because you guys are just so giving of your stuff I love that about RPGs, how you can just walk up to people and go, Give me your stuff. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. That's great for you. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. These people look like they want to battle. And they're sailors, so they're probably going to use water types. So this looks like the job for one of my two grass types. Oh, hooray. Come on there, my sailor's pride is at stake. Interesting. Including the fact I live in a landlocked state. I don't know very many sailors unless they sail on a lake. And no offense, I don't consider that sailing. I mean, like, if you're sailing an actual ship, like, yeah. Okay, then I guess you're sailing. But, like, if you're, I consider it sailing when you're, like, I don't know on an actual like or on like the ocean or like on a cruise ship or like not like uh oh i'm on a houseboat in the middle of the lake and i'm sailing no you're lying to yourself and lying is bad because if you're lying to yourself that's sad and that is my rant of the day for you about sailing a topic I never thought I would discuss <laughs> which is pretty much what these videos have become me talking about random topics that I thought I would never discuss because why would I discuss these topics I don't know oh wait they just come up in a game and then you all get to hear me talk about them willingly yep <laughs> but anyways Let's go ahead and slay this tentacool because why not? And we kind of need to in order to move on, even though this kind of bottom area that I'm in is completely optional. Actually, all these battles that I'm doing right now are optional, um, but it gives me an excuse to on-screen train. <laughs> and any amount of on-screen training I can do is great because not... Oh, I forgot. Okay, yeah, that would make sense right after the other um, any amount of on-screen training I can do kind of helps because I hate just sitting there and boredom and I mean I watch like YouTube videos in the background and stuff while I'm training but like it just gets super excuse me it just gets super boring and super just ugh. after a while 
Uh, yeah. If you didn't see that, they got a critical hit. So I'm going to go ahead and use a super potion on Reggae. And we'll call that good. So, oh, so <laughs> I just went probably quiet there for a sec. I was reading, I'm hanging out with some friends tonight and we're trying to plan stuff. So I was reading it off my smartwatch and then you just stop bothering me. I just threw my phone on the ground. I don't know why that was necessary, but apparently it was necessary. And yeah, you should, you should not throw your phone on the ground. That's a, that's a nice piece of technology that I paid a lot of money for. But yeah, we'll finish up these rooms down here. Ah! Are we even gonna comment on that? No, we're not. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> because why on God's green earth would we comment on that? Sailor Dylan, you are a weird kid. Sailor Dylan. Oh, Sailor Dylan. What a weird kid. But anyways, let's move on and fight this horsey. Because that sounds like a that sounds like a fun old time. Okay. Okay. Yep. Once again. Just like in episode 6, my friends are annoying me. <sighs> nice refreshing drink of water. When I start to take drinks of water, you know that I'm annoyed. Actually, I'm not really annoyed. I'm just kind of like, ugh, my throat is still death. And I like water because it's really delicious and really fantastic. And I'm sure you, the people at home care a lot about my obsession with water I'm sure you do so let's go ahead and vine whip this thing to the stars hopefully it won't be too hard no I was, I was just about to say does that rhyme uh hard stars nope doesn't rhyme does not rhyme Justin I'm really bad at the English language. I'm very happy I'm a US citizen, otherwise I would be screwed. Because that would just be ugh, territory for all sorts of screw-ups on my end, trying to speak the English language. I would like to learn a second language, but I'm barely good at English, so how on God's green earth could I learn another language? Like, I did Spanish in high school, well, by did Spanish. I mean, I did the minimal requirement to graduate, which was two years. I don't even think... Did we need Spanish to graduate? I can't remember. I really can't remember. I'll have to ask my friends about that later. But anyways, I did like two years of Spanish. I actually repeated the first year. I passed, but I just didn't feel like I was good enough at Spanish. And I actually used it a couple years ago. I went to the uh, Dominican Republic my senior year for like a week. And I like... Uh, I built this... Uh, well, n not by myself. Me and a team of people built them a um, new uh, youth center. So that's what we did for a week, and it was super exciting. I'm sure you all care about a trip that I took two years ago. Or two years ago. I took that trip like five years ago. But yeah, anyways, Spanish. Yes, that's what we were talking about, Spanish. So... I would like to know Spanish, like that would be something super cool. So if you know Spanish and want to teach me, leave a comment below <laughs> and yeah, I'll learn some Spanish from you. That sounds like a fun old time and good thing this thing doesn't have any water type moves as far as I'm concerned, which is absolutely fantastic for me. Magnitude 8. Fantastic. Only if you could have done that the first time, Doo-Wop. Doo-Wop, are you going to be like Ska where I have to yell at you in order for you to do good things? Because if I have to do that, I'm going to be a little upset. Doo-Wop's trying to learn Dig. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Growl. I feel like Sand Attack could actually come in handy in the future. Including the fact Doo-Wop is the only Pokemon I have that knows Sand Attack at this current moment. And I want out of here for this Staryu. We're going to switch over to Reggae. This episode's kind of been like the doo-wop and reggae episode with a little bit of Dixieland sprinkled in and some swing. Basically no bluegrass, um, but that's okay. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I just need to get these guys trained up for uh, the battle that's going to take place. Probably next episode would be my guess. Oh man, are you kidding me? I'm 
out. Uh, I should have gone and healed. Oh well, this gives us a perfect excuse to use our buddy Bluegrass, who hasn't seen some action in a while. Ooh, hit it with a hard end! Yeah, because that joke's not old. Anyways, <laughs> let's use Razor Leaf and get this thing off the field, which would be field. What am I playing? A, am I playing a card game or something? Or like a get it off the field? I don't know. But anyways, um, sailing, Spanish, and Spanglish. Yep. <sighs> because that's a thing. Um, do these guys fight me? Oh, I need to go heal. That's so dumb. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna run up there. It won't take me that long. You guys will, you guys will enjoy watching me run up here. Yeah, if you guys want me to, like, cut out when I, like, run to a Pokemon Center or something to make the experience more, I don't know, fluid, go ahead and leave a comment. I actually, I just do it because it makes less work for me and the lazy bum that I am, I just like less work. And if I can make less work out of something, why would I make more work for myself? That's just idiotic and stupid. Um, this episode's probably gonna run a little bit over time, which I'm kinda like, ugh, but oh well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, you can live through like five to 10 minutes more of your regularly scheduled content and if you don't want to watch the whole thing, nothing's making you. You don't have to. I hope no one's making you watch my content. Because if they are, I'm sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Actually, I don't. No, I don't even watch my own content. <laughs> I, have a, I have a QA tester for that. Shout out to my QA tester. You're probably watching this in the QA test, and then you're going to get up, come to my room, and go, Why are you talking about me? And, yeah, that's going to be our conversation that happens. And if you're also hearing some water, it just started to rain outside. So, I'm going to go ahead and fight this last guy. And we will have cleared everything on the SSN except for the top floor, which, oh lord, I don't want to go up there yet, because there is a demon. And you know how I feel about demons. Huh? 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 I also like getting closer to the microphone, because it makes me feel like I'm whispering to you, even though you're not in the same room as me. Even though I've also already made this joke once before. So I don't need you to laugh at me. I just need you to accept it. And accept it for what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and murder some water type Pokemon with our Vines of Death. Rain down from the sky, Vines of Death. Destroy my enemies. Slay them to oblivion. Make them whip them until their name is Toby. Oh, no! You can't use Recover? That's a joke! That's a joke, isn't it? Oh, you jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk. Alright, and a shelter. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can stay in. Why? I don't know why I was like, oh, a shelter, oh no. Well, it is an ice type, so it could wreck me potentially, but I'm gonna wreck it before it even touches me. Fantastic. And I'm even gonna get to level 19. To think... Reggae was only level 14 before the beginning of this episode. Stun Spore. What do I think about... <laughs> Should I just have all the powders? And... Vine Whip? <laughs> yeah, I should! <laughs> the Powder Pokemon! Reggae. Nice. Alright. Darn. And I let you... I let that one get away. Justin got $612 for winning. Poke dollars? I don't know what it, the actual currency is. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Um, in the next episode, we're probably going to take on the demon. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a good one.